What message are you not sharing? What message are you even a little afraid to share? I'm gonna tell you that there's a really good chance that there is gold in that very message that you're holding back from sharing with your audience, with your community. Here's why I say that. In the, ooh, geez, decades now <laughs> that I have been working and playing with people and helping them discover the authenticity and the potency and the power of their message to share with the world, most of the time, the thing that is most unique and most interesting about themselves, their opinion, the way they see the world, is the one thing they're afraid to share. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that the reason this is an indicator is because you feel afraid, because you could feel anything about it. I think, I suspect that the reason what you're holding back, what you might be a little nervous about sharing is an indicator that it's a strong message that will resonate powerfully with people is because it's a little edgy. It's a little edgy for you. It feels like you're probably making up stories about what other people are gonna think about it and how people aren't gonna like it. And because of that, it's actually a message that probably isn't out there the way you believe it should be. And you're the one to bring it. Now, I'm gonna fess up to something. I'm telling you this because there's a, there's a message, there's a whole big message and maybe even a course that I've been thinking about for literally years and it keeps coming back and it keeps coming back. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Mm, it's too directly about this one particular modality. It's going to piss people off. You know, I'm just going to be stirring up the hornet's nest and the haters are going to come out of the woodwork. Now, I don't know that that's going to happen. You don't know that that's going to happen. But I'm making it up. And it's been slowing me down. So I'm fessing up to this because I'm going to do it. And I'm going to start sharing about that in the videos in the days to come. So you can come back and remind me and maybe you'll guess what it is. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about until it, I'm doing it and then you'll see. But here's the thing. We don't know that people are gonna be upset. We can't predict the reactions of people. There's no way to know. However, if you're saying anything of note and you get any kind of audience, at some point, somebody's not gonna like it. That's just the way it is. It says nothing about you. It doesn't even say anything about your message. It has everything to do, only to do with that person and the meaning that they make up about it. Your only job is to share what you know to be true in a way that feels right for you. That's it. Not to guarantee anybody's reaction or response because you absolutely can't. That would be impossible. I've also come to see that my message isn't just for the people who agree with it. It's not just for the people who come along and go, oh, Stephanie's great, like I, I really like her, like I want to listen to her more, or she's kind of cool, I think I'm going to hang out here. It's also for the people who get pissed off by it, who get riled up by it. There's something in it for them that's poking at something for them. There's something for them to see because they're creating that response in themselves. And maybe three months, six months, a year, two years, whatever that is comes alive for them. My message is for the haters too. It gives them something at the very least, something to know themselves by saying no in resistance to. I think maybe the only people that my message isn't for are the ones who are completely neutral and they, they just don't care about it one way or the other. So with that said, don't let it stop you. I challenge you, I encourage you, I invite you today to write something, make a video, create something that feels a little edgy for you. 
Do it without the intention of sharing it. Just do it and see what happens. And then maybe, just maybe, you'll feel like sharing. If you do, please let me know.